Okay, okay I want to go across to Abhishek no, Singh. We just Rahul, give me a moment. Nirmala, you've spoken, yeah, you've spoken on several occasions. No, no, Everybody must get a fair chance. Please no, give right, me a moment. You've spoken a lot. Swapan and Abhishek are listening. And I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Give me a moment. I know that this is an issue which raises a lot of passion. Oh. But I want to go across to Abhishek Singh. We, the BJP will turn around and say there's a CAG report that directly indicts a Raja. However, in the case of Narendra Modi, there are lots of allegations. Some of them have been substantiated. But the final conclusion, Dr. Singh, we seems to be that there isn't enough grounds to move ahead. So there is a difference. Now it only is coming down to, as you said, the Raj Dharma and the moral high ground, which clearly is not going to be substantiated in a court of law. Uh, Rahul, the problem is that I think you have limited time and you have too many people and you can't possibly be fair to everyone. Point number two, this is really another facet of the same question. I don't think we have to repeat the answer that ultimately the Supreme Court will decide it can overrule, partly accept, modify or accept wholly the report of SIT. This is not the last word. But the more important point remains, I can guarantee with confidence that the BJP will never say that Raja was indicted in the CAG report and therefore do this or that. Because the BJP has absolutely no faith to say that. The BJP has never had a CBI inquiry, even an FIR, for Mr. Yadurappa or his sons or his ministers. It did not have a single FIR for Mr. Bangaru Lakshman or for Mr. George Fernandez. It did not have a CBI inquiry. It had a sham non-functional commission, no FIR, and then legitimation, approbation and laddus in the case of Yadurappa. It had reinstatement of uh, uh, George Fernandez. It had no punishment to Bangaru Lakshman. So what can they talk about? I can tell you another thing, Rahul. Without fear of contradiction, if you see the overall history, consistently over the years, there is no party, national or regional, which has tried to take action even on minimal prima facie credible information. Here you have the only case of a chief minister, no cabinet minister I know of, no chief minister I know of, who has mulishly, obstinately, shamefacedly clung to power despite overwhelming knowledge, perception, understanding and acceptance by everyone. And that all this is not based on conviction, mind you. Okay, Mr. I repeat, knowledge, Mr. Das Gupta, I want to go across to Swapan for a moment. That he is guilty of a communal mindset. Okay, and the point is that we can keep on debating in television studios. It's not going to make any difference to Mr. Modi. Ultimately, he may or may not go. But according to me, he already stands convicted several times over. It's a different matter. He may be getting elected. That is absolutely no excuse to continue without allowing a fair trial to go on in his state, which he will not do. Okay. So what's the point? Let's wait for the Supreme Court. Swapan, the report says that hardly any bureaucrat or police officer was inclined to tell the truth as most of them had got lucrative government assignments after retirement and a few of them who didn't were still not willing to antagonize the powerful chief minister. So clearly, the SIT, even in the conclusions that it has come to, is constrained by the fact that some of these bureaucrats and police officers didn't fully cooperate to tell the truth. Well, that's a uh, matter between the SIT and those respective police officers. I don't think I can really comment on that. But what I can comment on is the fact that today we are in a very bizarre situation that this was an attempt at a legal prosecution where the Supreme Court was took up the matter and asked the SIT to do to assist the court in its investigations and the SIT has prepared a report. Now, we see the broad conclusions of this report, which, may, we, which we may like or which we may dislike. It's ultimately for the courts to decide as to, and Abhishek is completely right in saying that the Supreme Court can accept, reject, modify, do anything it wants to with the report. But from what, is happen what it seems to me is that what, has, what the SIT has actually said is it has criticized certain administrative lapses of the Gujarat government. And I think it is probably entitled because when a devastating riot of that scale happens, there must have been administrative lapses. But from to jump from administrative lapses to willful criminal culpability, the charge which has been attempted to put on Narendra Modi, to my mind, does not stand.